Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in Django web application how to search filter records between two q and dates dynamically from database. And here we got the final output. Now let's uh, search the records. I'm selecting the records the 1st June 2020, the starting date and from ending that i'm selecting the today's date 30th june 2020 now let's search the records between two given dates see here we got the records between these values we have found for example i want to select the june 27 2020 this record only i want to search so june 27th june 2020 and the ending date also the two date also i'm adding the same one 27 2020 so here the from and to date both are same so i'm expecting the employee name mamata such so here we got the mamata if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a new Django web application, first we'll check the table in PHP My Admin Database, which is my SQL Server. The table name is an employee table which contains four columns: EMP ID, EMP name, salary, and join date. Now my aim is I want to search records between two given dates, the starting date and ending date, in Django web application. So let's create a new Django web application. Before creating a new Django web application, first we require a new folder. So I'm creating a folder in E drive, right click the mouse, click new and select folder. And the folder name is Django search between dates, between two dates, and between two dates is a folder name. Let's browse this folder. Right now this folder is empty. Now we'll create a new Django web application in this folder. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django web application, but before that we need to add the folder which we have created in the E drive. For that go to file and then select open folder. The folder I have created in the E drive, this is our folder name. I have selected that one, then I click select folder button. And here the folder is successfully added to our and, um, Visual Studio Explorer panel at the right side we got the welcome page let's close this welcome page now we'll create a new application in this folder for that go to view and select terminal here the terminal which is nothing but a command prompt or PowerShell and also notice the path it's either this is our the folder name the folder name now we'll create a new application in this folder Django iPhone admin start project and the project name is uh, search uh, search between records between dates is my application name so notice here the search between dates the application is created successfully let me expand this app when i expand this app there is one subfolder the same folder same application name and one python file which is manage.py let me allow to expand this subfolder also when I expand this subfolder, there is some default Python files like settings.py, urls.py. All these files and folders have been created automatically when I create this application, search between dates. So after creating the application, now the next step, I will add one new folder to add my templates. So select the application, right click the mouse, click new folder, the folder name is the templates. And this templates folder contains all my HTML pages. So add one HTML page, right click the mouse, click new file. The file name is index.html. And here we got our index.html. Now before adding the doc type, the HTML code in this page, first uh, we'll add one models page in this subfolder of our application. Select the subfolder, right click the mouse, click new file. The file name is a models.py and here we got our models.py python page and this page contains a property of our table and our table name. So before creating a properties, first we'll import the models class from django.db import models. 
After that, let's define a class, new class, and the class name is the employee model class, and this takes models dot model. I miss capital here. Colon. Now in this class, we'll add our properties. Let's switch over to the database. If you check in our table, we have four columns, so we'll add four uh, properties: EMP ID, EMP name, salary, and join date. So let's add that one. EMP ID is equals to models dot integer field and this emp id is a primary key is equals to true then we require the emp name is equals to morals morals dot car field and the car field i'm adding a maximum length is equals to 50 and then we require what is the third column name is a salary so we need to add exactly this and third column is a salary is equals to models dot integer type integer field and the last one is a join date join date is equals to models dot which is a date field after that i'm adding one more class called meta class and this meta class contain my table name so db underscore table is equals to between double quotes i'll add my table name which is the employee copy that one and paste here that's it we have created a class called employee model with some properties and our table name so let's save this file after that we'll add one views page in this subfolder right click the subfolder name click new file and the file name is a views.py and here we got our views page now in this views page contains the actual logic to fetch the records between two given dates the from date and to date but before that, we need to import the necessary classes from Django dot shop dots import render class. The render class in Django applications, when we want to render the HTML templates, we require this render class. So after adding the render class, the next step will import our models class. My models page is inside between inside my project name dot models import i'm importing the class name from the models which is the employee model after that let's define a, a function def uh, show results show results uh, which contains um, a request which contains a request colon first before adding the such function day uh, first i will display all the records in a table so let's display display data display data is an object employee model dot objects dot objects dot all method and then this function return render requesting the template called index dot html and the third parameter i'm adding a dictionary to get the results on the HTML page yes. so within curly brackets I am adding a single double quotes in this double quotes a dictionary contains a keys and values the first between double quotes I am adding the key name the data you can add any name for the key but the values we are getting from this object display data let's add that one display data here that's it let's save this file save all now the next step let's open urls.py now we have to configure our template in this urls page first let's import from dot import views views then we'll add a new path between single words i'm not adding anything between the single words which means this path this path will become our the home page the default page of our web application views dot the page the index.html page I am requesting with the help of function show results so copy that one and paste here in this path in this part let's paste let's paste again copy again and paste here that's it let's save this file uh, now open settings of py in the settings of py the first we need to add uh, the install app, uh, app we need to install our application name my application name is such between dates let's copy that one and paste here then come to the bottom in the template section notice the directories here 
in this directories I'm configuring uh, my templates I'm joining my templates folder with the base directory so os dot path dot join method base directory comma between single quotes I'm adding templates folder after that come to the bottom and the databases uh, notice the default database engine is a SQLite 3 but our database is my SQL let's delete this default name the database name and our database name is the table I have created this employee table I have created in the Charon database so let's add the Charon database after that we need to use the credentials the user is the root then we require the password the password here I'm leaving password blank because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter between these single quotes then we require the host of our server the host is a local host and we require the port number so let's find out the port number of my sql database which is a double three zero eight let's add that one double three zero eight and the last one i'm adding options the options between curly brackets i'm initializing the command colon between double quotes i'm setting the sql mode the mode i'm setting for the sql is uh, single call. Between single quotes, I'm adding a strict underscore trans underscore tables. Let's add a comma. That's it. We have configured our connection string, the database connection string, and the templates also. We have added the templates folder in this template section, and we have installed our application name in this install underscore app section. Let's save this file. Now switch over to the index.html page. Now let's add the doc type in the doctor let's close this html tag then header section in the header section i'm adding a title tag search records between two dates two dates then after the header section i'm adding a body tag and this body tag is kind of the center in the center i'm adding a headers how to search filter records between two between two given dates then I'm adding h3 Django web tutorials after the header tags I'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding a table element to display the records from the database table this table i'm adding a border style is one then the table contains table rows and the table rows have table headers if you check in our table uh, there are four columns emp id emp name challenge joined it so let's add emp id the headings employee id table headers table headers employee name salary and the last column for the header is a join date after that the data i'm fetching the records from the database for that i'm using for loop between curly brackets percentage percentage for loop for uh, result result is an object in that results uh, the values we are getting from this dictionary key which is a data copy that one and paste here then let, let's close this for loop with n for after the tr the table data i'm displaying between double curly brackets result dot emp id we need to add exactly the same column names here emp id next between double curly brackets result dot mp name td again between double curly brackets it's a result dot salary and the last one i'm adding result dot the join date so let's check again the column names uh, okay that's it
let's save this file now before adding the search functionality between two given layers first we'll check the table is displaying or not on this index.html page so come to the terminal section and before run the server we need to add this application name to our path so cd change directory my application name enter after that let's run the server python manage.py run server enter See here, after around the server, we don't have any issues. Below is our web server link. Let's browse this application. Control plus mouse click. See here, we got the output. The header axis. Below that, we got the table, employee ID, employee name, salary, and join date. These are the records from this table. Now, after displaying the records in the table, now let's implement the search filter records between two given dates. So when we are implementing the search uh, join, uh, when we are implementing the search records between two given dates, so we require two uh, two uh, input element the date types. So let's add the element input type is equals to date and um, name is equals to it's a start date start date start date. Let's close this one and uh, put the heading here is the start date uh, from date let's add the from date from from and uh, this one stuff start date let's add from date copy this one and paste here this is to date to date after that i'm adding a submit button control input type is equals to submit and the value is equals to such let's close the button control after that i'm adding horizontal line so let's save this file save all And now we'll check the output now I'm reloading the browser and here we got a new output with a date elements the date controls see here we got a calendar now user selects a particular date for example if a user selects a from address the June 1st 2020 and the last date 30th June 2020 when the such record i want to display the records between these two date ranges in this table so let's add that functionality switch over to the coding part views tab go to views tab here i'm posting the data so if request dot method the method double equals to post of the colon i'm adding here from date from date is equals to this from date uh, or it is in the index of HTML this from date copy this one here the from date we are getting the request dot post dot get method the get method is from date now we'll add the to date also to date is a variable here instead of writing the same thing just copy this one and paste here but change the get method to to date copy this one and paste here after that um, now uh, let's define an object call uh, such result is an object so here i'm adding employee model objects dot raw method in this raw method i'm adding the select statement select emp id emp name salary and the join date the columns i'm adding from the table name is employee employee where in the where class, um, I'm adding the join date, the column name join date. We need to add this column name join date here, join date between 
and now here now in this between between double quotes and single quotes plus plus I'm adding this variable from date and the to date to the end it's instead of from date I'm adding this variable to date the to date we're getting from this object this variable that's it let's save this file save all after that after that this function written render when we posting the data i want to requesting the same page so request index.html comma between curly brackets here i'm adding data column now the new search results i want to display this search results here after that let's add the else part else else part displaying all the records let's save this file save all now switch over to index.html now the most important step is in django applications when we are posting the data uh, the form method i'm adding the form tag the method is equals to post let's close this form tag and i'm adding this closing tag the form tag after the table and here after the form tag i'm adding one command call between percentage percentage csrf underscore token this is very important command when we are posting the data in django application products of a data from the hackers when we are posting the data in django applications that's it let's save this file save all and now we'll check the final output we have already opened here in the browser let's reload the browser and here we got the final output now let's uh, search the records i'm selecting the records the first june 2020 the starting date and from ending date i'm selecting the today's date 30th june 2020 now let's search the records between two given dates see here we got the records between these values we have found for example i want to select the june 27 2020 this record only i want to search so june 27th june 2020 and the ending date also the two date also i'm adding the same one 27 2020 so here the from and to date both are same so i'm expecting the employee name mamata such see here we got the mamata that's it that's it i have shown in this example how to search records between two given dates in django web application from my sql php my admin database